Right, so hey guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to step up the game of uh, programming and what we're going to be doing is creating graphics using Python. So without any delays, let's just get into it. First of all, I'm just going to create the new Python file like we always do. Um, so graphics.py and then I'm just going to open that in idle right so the first thing that you want to do is import the module that we're going to be using for our graphics so the module we're using is tkinter so we're going to import star from tkinter um, after which what we're going to do is run, run just to check if you have the tech inter library within your wait actually it's, so what we want to do is just reverse that we say form tech inter import star and then just run the module just to make sure so at this point if you don't have any errors you're good to go um, what we want to do next is create a window which we create a screen so we create a variable called screen or whatever name you like and if we type in tk and two brackets and if we run that really quickly we should have a tiny window of graphics showing up as we set it to so here we are with a tiny window that we created using a single line statement I'm just going to close that for now and what you want to do next is set a title for your screen so screen dot title um, my first graphics program maybe okay so if you run this now you would see that the screen title changes from TK to my first graphics program also you would see that when we run the program it starts up as like this tiny little window which we can change to and I'm going to show you how to do that right now so we use the screen again and then we call the geometry and we change the size of it so for this one we'll say we're gonna work with 500 times 500 pixels and then if you run this real quick again we should have the first window opening up at the same size that we set it to being 500 by 500 alright so now that we have our window ready and running what we want to do next is display something onto it so we want to display some text onto the screen of a tick into a window what you want to do is initialize that text and assign it to a variable so let's say welcome text equals so that's the variable done we create a label a label is something that would hold hold the text information you want to put on the screen we can use that to place it anywhere we want on the screen as well so we put the label on first argument you want to pass through is the text that will go in the label so we'll say welcome to our first graphics program if it is your first time and then what you want to do is you can also change the foreground of the text by typing in fg equals whatever let's say red for now and you can change the background of the text too so let's say hmm I'm just going to do a yellow background with red which is a terrible combination of colors but we'll just go for, with it for now so once you've created your text label and you've um, done your designing you can also change the font which I will show you later you what you want to do next is place it somewhere on the screen so for now we're just gonna place it in the center of the screen so we do welcome text dot pack pack means you're gonna place it exactly in the center of the screen so when we run this it will be centered to the to the tick into window that we created previously so as you see here um, what we coded has been displayed in the window so we have a welcome text saying welcome to our first graphics program the foreground color is red and the background color is yellow obviously so if we shut that down um, what we may need next inside a graphics program would be something like a variable I mean something like a button so a button that can carry out a function maybe so let's say 
you want to create a button first thing you want to do is like we did before we'll create a button the button name will um, be click me for now and then as soon as you created the variable you type in button and then the first argument will be the text um, saying click me or whatever function it has you can also change the foreground and the background like we did before we're just going to keep it the same you can omit uh, you can ignore the foreground and background if you do not want to set one so it's going to be set to the default ones and lastly you want to um, give the button a command which I'll show you in a second so for now we're just doing the same arguments that we pass for the label so we, all we need to do next is click me dot so if we wanted to place this somewhere on the screen within where we want it to be placed what we do is we type in dot place instead of dot pack and we give it the x value and the y value if I'm not wrong so equals 20 we'll try that okay so just gonna run that again probably did the wrong thing last time all right so yeah as you see here um, we did it wrong because I put quotation marks by accident so you type in X and the Y value X value is kind of the distance from the left while Y is the diff distance from the top to down um, so as you see here we have the button which we created a second ago you can click it but nothing's gonna happen because we have an assigned a function to it so imagine you want to change the height and the width of the button you can also do that by giving it a height of 10 let's say and a width of 20 and as you see the button size increases in instantly to what we've set it to so we're going to get rid of the height and width for now and we're going to move on to giving the button a command so if you want the button to do something you give it a command so the function name for this command is going to be run okay so we go to the top just after the import and we define run as a function we're not going to pass any arguments through so we just leave it blank brackets so what this function is going to do is just say print a you just click okay this is a simple function for now you can also complicate it if you like um, anything that you want to happen when this button is clicked should uh, be written within the run function so now when we run this program it should essentially when we click this it should say hey you just clicked and it will keep going until you kill the program essentially um, also another thing that you want to do is put the screen inside a loop so it's really easy all you do is screen dot main loop at the end of your program or at the end of the graphics so all that will do is keep the program in a loop um, if you wanted to make this come up on the screen itself it's pretty basic all you do is create another label let's say new text equals label text equals hey you just clicked and the foreground is going to be red background is going to be yellow um, and that's it so what we're going to do is we're just going to place that text onto the screen we're just going to pack it for now and then when we run this okay we have an error oh, I forgot the comma there set a comma alright so when we click this label is not defined oh because I've spelled it wrong sorry so when we run this again hopefully I shouldn't get any more errors this time when we click okay so as you see here we click on click me it says hey you just clicked you can change that to different stuff like for example if you wanted to respawn another button what you would do is um, take the same code as here and paste it up here 
and then when we run that okay it just needs to be in the same same margin when we run that we're gonna keep spawning different buttons for now it's not working because it's gonna land at the same position but if you do dot pack here instead of dot place it should uh, come up one after the other there we go and if we click those buttons we keep spawning new ones um, the last thing that I'm going to show you for today's tutorial is going to be how to create a entry type so the way you create an entry in Python is you simply create a variable like before so let's say we want to take the user's name so we take name equals entry like um, and like before what's going to happen is we're going to assign it to certain text if you'd like to so we can say please enter your name I wouldn't recommend doing this because it's not going to be like a placeholder but it's going to come up as the text inside the entry I just forgot to place it so we're going to pack that for now just to show you what that does Okay, we're gonna run that really quickly. And as you see here, there's no text on the screen, but the value of that has been set to please enter your name. So in entry, the most important thing that you would actually need is the um, the variable. So I'm just gonna refer to one of the the text variable is what you need. So entry. So what you want to do before actually taking the entry from the user is create a new variable so say name storage this is going to store the value that is entered into entry so name storage equals we're going to set it to a string variable for now and then here all you need to do is so text variable equals um name storage and then up here what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the value of name storage so name equals name storage dot get and then we're gonna print the name that is entered into the entry so hopefully this should work and as we see here, um, if we enter anything in here, so hello world, and if we click the button here, it displays exactly the same text as we enter inside here. Because what's essentially happening is, so we created a name storage variable, which is a string variable. Um, then the entry, whatever we enter in there, is going to be saved into this variable right here. And then when we go up here in the function, we retrieve the value of name storage and then we simply print it to the screen. Um, another thing you could also do is delete the, so you could delete the text once you click the button as well. The way you do it is, um, give me a second. So you just, so you would just take the entry name, which is name, and then you would do dot delete. So zero comma n, which means from start till end, and hopefully that should work as well. So when you click now, what you want to do is um, change this to a different variable name because we're going to be clashing otherwise, or just change this simply into another name, call it name one, and then print name one up here. And then what happens here is when we run this, yep. Yeah, um, it should clear the text field when we enter a name so let's say hello there and when we click click me it's gonna take the value that we put in there and it's gonna clear the text field for the next text and we can keep going so anyway that was a short tutorial for you guys hope you liked the tutorial um, if you did please make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe as you know, I'm trying to get to a target of 1,000 subscribers, so please help me on my way there. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.